Hi, uh, it's Karkov again with another how-to video on fixing the window motors. I had some uh, problems with lighting, so hopefully this time you'll be able to see. Plus, the uh, first part of the video I lost. Anyway, to fix your window motor, uh, basically what goes wrong with these, well there's two things that goes wrong with these. Either the gear gets stripped out and your motor works, or your motor freezes up and it doesn't work at all. If your gear is stripped out, if you can take this and spin it around, then you're just going to have to get another one. Sorry about your luck. But if you're lucky and it didn't strip out and your motor's locked up, this is this is the situation that you want to have. Even if this sucker was underwater, you're going to be able to be okay. Now, what you're going to want to do is this this plastic this was on here like this. You've already got it off because you had to take it out of the wind. You had to take it out of the car. Um, there's going to be some black junk. I don't know what to call it. Some buffer bushing thing. To clean all that out. Just throw it on the ground. Whatever. You're going to want to carefully take yourself a small screwdriver, and where these bumps are, there's one. There's one over here. There's one on this side. You're going to want to carefully pry up on those. Now, I've already pried mine loose for the sake of uh, having a short YouTube video. But what you're going to want to do is pry this up and remove this piece. Not easy to get off. Now, what you're going to see in there is your gears and all your other stuff. You're going to, by the way, I've already repaired this one, but I'm taking it back apart just to show you how it's done. You're going to you're going to want to make sure that your gear can move when you're all done whatever. If you're lucky, you can lift it out. If you're not, that's okay. You'll want to take these screws out back here on the motor. If you're really lucky, you should be able to wiggle the motor and have it come out like so. Okay, set this aside for a moment. We'll get to that. Your motor is going to have this thing, maybe. I don't know what the point to keep water out. That doesn't work. You're going to see that it's, it's probably not going to want to move. You're going to want to try to turn it, and it's not going to happen. So what you have to do is you have to remove this plastic thing that holds the brushes. Now, usually they come out by wiggling them. You push up a little bit. You pull back. You push up. You pull back. And eventually, it will come out. If it needs a little persuasion, don't be afraid to take it. Set it on the side of something and tap on this thing here with a, with a small hammer. Wiggle it up some, push it back down, wiggle it back up, push it down. You're going to have this pop out eventually. Careful with your brushes. You don't want to damage them and you're going to remove this piece. This is your uh, your brush assembly. Uh, looks like there's some other things in there that, re that regulate power or whatever. This is going to be stuck in here. And you're, going to, you're going to wonder how you're going to get it out. Well, the best way that I've found is to take a towel and pull on it and just wiggle and pull and wiggle and pull and it's going to just pop right out of there. Now, Yours is going to come out. Notice, notice this one's all rusty. That's okay. The commutator looks okay. You're going to find that there's going to be a bushing stuck to the end of this thing. What you're going to want to do is take some thousand grit sandpaper, sand this, well you're going to want to first take a pair of pliers and wrench that bushing off. You're going to, it's going to be hard to do, but you're not going to hurt it. I promise. Grab, grab this with a towel. It's going to rip your hand off. Put the, Put your pliers on the bushing, turn a little bit at a time, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit till it's loose, wiggle it off of there and it'll pop right off and then you got a bushing and you got this. You're going to want to clean this up with some thousand grit sandpaper till it's nice and shiny or smooth at least. It's going to look, it's going to look really bad but it's going to be smooth when you're done sanding on it. Then you want to take your bushing, try to sand it out a little bit if you can, but it needs to slide on there nice and smooth and spin around. Mine, I've already got the bushing 
down inside of there. Now, I don't know if you can see it this time. I'll actually take a peek back behind here. Can you hold the camera right? Eh, so you can't see it. It's down there, trust me. I can't get it out either because I already... Well, anyway. You're going to want to get that bushing nice and clean. And then bend all the pins back. Once the bushing's out, you're going to find that there's a bunch of these pins down in there. You're going to want to take a pair, uh, take a screwdriver and bend those all back out of the way. Then take your bushing, drop it down in there so it's straight. This is where I had trouble last time. Dip your, dip the end of your motor in some grease and set it down in there so that it goes. Here we go again, so that it goes into the bushing. As usual, it's not going to go in there. Cut. Okay, we're going to the bushing part, where the bushings and and where the commutator's in the bush. Okay, now that the commutator, or now that the armature and shaft assembly is down into the bushing and you've greased the bushing and you know that it all spins freely, you'll notice that you can turn this easier now. It should, should spin pretty easy. It's going to rub around on the magnets, but uh, that's not going to happen when we're done. This end here might be dirty. You'll want to clean it up as best you can with that thousand grit sandpaper and, and uh, let it be for right now. You're going to take your brush assembly, slide it back down over the uh, shaft, and then there's the two brushes, which obviously you can't see, but you're going to want to push them out of the way, do one side, then do the other side, and this will then go down in. Now your motor is nice and free to turn and spin and do its thing. Set that aside. That's done. Switch to this part. Your gear may be stuck on here. The way to get it off is to just grab this plastic bit right here with a pair of pliers and like you did the motor, you're going to want to wiggle it back and forth until you can get it to come off of there. Okay. What you're going to find if your if your gear was that sticky is this shaft's going to be all rusted up. Again, I don't know if you can see. Hopefully you can. Mine's shiny now because I've sanded it. You want to sand it with a thousand grit sandpaper. Get it clean. The inside of this, mine was clean. If yours isn't clean, uh, don't sand it. Just try to clean it with a pipe cleaner or any other rag. Just get the stuff out of it. Take a little bit of your white lithium grease, put it on that shaft right there, like so. Take your gear, goop it up real good, or all around the teeth. Also, you want to goop the back side where those there's a bunch of uh, don't don't lose that washer. There's a bunch of little bumps back there that sit down on the bottom there. I don't know if they touch or not, but I greased them anyway. You want to set that back down in there like so, and you should have it spin around nice and easy. Not, nothing to it. Alright, now this part right here, this rubber piece, you want to make sure you clean all the old grease and stuff off of it. It's going to be covered in this nasty stuff. And then once you're done with that, grease it up with your grease. I had some on my finger already. And you're going to want to switch back to this thing. Clean up this part. This is the, like a water seal or some sort of seal to keep stuff from getting in there. You're going to want to grease up this area right here. And then, if you haven't destroyed your gasket, they, they usually stay on there, but if you destroyed your gasket, Life goes on. Don't don't worry about it too much. Um, you can always re rebuild these things over and over again. Set your uh, that piece, whatever you want to call that, and the adapter thing, back down in there. Set this thing back on like so, 
and then it should still spin pretty smoothly. All greased up, good to go. Now you're going to want to take your motor. Down inside of there, there's a thing we can't get to. I don't, I don't know how to get to it. Uh, the screw's destroyed, but I'm assuming that since this end here wasn't destroyed by by use, that that end down there is okay too. So if you haven't already lost this, or if it's gone, it doesn't matter. Slide it back down on there because it's going to do so much good. Dip this end in the grease. Get it on the gear, and then with the uh, plug facing like this, slide it in to the gear, like so. Press it together, and that's all there is to it. You put the uh, you put the two two motor bolts back in. You put uh, there's a single bolt that goes on its own over here. And then uh, you might be wondering, oh, my bushing's all destroyed. It's it, it's not going to work. Well, I got two in my car right now that I didn't even bother putting the bushing back in. They work fine. They've worked fine for a week now, and they're going to work fine because I say they are. If they don't, I'll deal with it. But until that time comes, I don't believe that bushing is necessary, and it got destroyed, and yours are probably destroyed, and they're probably all destroyed, and even the ones that are going up and down are probably destroyed. So put it back together, put your cables in, wind them around the thing. I'm not going to show you how to do that because that's outside in the dark. Put this cover back on. Put your screws in, bolt it to the car, and use your newly fixed window motor that will work just fine. Might make a little noise at first, but hey, it's better than paying who knows how much for a new one. And now you know if it starts getting sluggish again, you can know, you know how to take it apart and you know how to put it back together so that it works. So hopefully this is some use to you LeBaron owners and I think that it would even apply to the uh, passenger and driver's side door being sluggish because the, the main drag usually is, it's in the bushing, they don't put bearings in these and the, the gear itself everything else in the window you can lube up the cables you can lube up the slides you can lube up use, use, use the white lithium grease and get grease all over your glass because it's going to happen wipe it off and that's all there is to it hopefully that's been hopefully that's been useful I hope you enjoyed it I hope there's enough light <laughs> This is Car Comp with another how to do stuff that nobody thinks anybody should be able to do or know how to do video.